Hi everyone, it's Jojo. I just wanted to do a uh, thrift haul video for you. I was able to go to a few different thrift stores this week and um, these are all the items I found. I actually found quite a few different things. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you the items I got. I'll start here at the front. Um, this is a sweater clip, a vintage sweater clip. It would go on both sides of the a sweater just to hold it together. Um, I don't have any of these and I really did want one. I paid 79 cents for it. I found these cool sunglasses. It has a glass lens to them. I'm not sure how old they are, um, but they definitely had a cat eye vintage feel, I thought. And I paid $1.99 for those. I got this cool um, beaded necklace and it is made by a company called DeVille. And I just thought the, the stones on it was really pretty. It has white and blue and green and then a little spacer there that has rhinestones to it. And I paid $1.99 for it. I found a rolling pin. I was hoping um, that this would be, I'm doing a project in the kitchen, um, like I mentioned in the last video, and I was looking for a rolling pin, but this one actually is a little bit too, um, thick. It's a heavy maple one, and I'm actually going to just use this as my, um, I'm going to throw out my other rolling pin that I've had for a while. It's not vintage, and replace it with this one. This one is a, um, a Foley rolling pin, and I only paid $1.99 for it. It's really nice, um, but I'm still on the lookout for another one because I need two to go with the project that I'm working on. Uh, so I guess I'm still going to be on the hunt for that. I found this cool um, like candy dish. It has like these kissing doves on top, and it is marked with the W, which is a uh, Westmoreland glass. <coughs> And I've had several other pieces by them. Here, let me show you. And the bottom is marked also. It's kind of like a bird on a nest, um, which I have one of those, but I thought it was really pretty with the two birds on top. And I think they're supposed to be doves. I paid $2.59 for this um, set, which I thought was a really good deal. It's really heavy milk glass. I got this mug. Who remembers this? Well, I do because I was a child in the 80s, but this is called the Get Along Gang. And it says, what do you say? Let's play. And I pay 50 cents for it. And I just thought it was cool. It just reminded me of the show and I always liked that show. I got some milk glass mugs too. Um, yes, I paid 50 cents for that. I think I just said that, but I couldn't remember. Um, this one I paid $2.79 for all three of these. Uh, milk glass mugs. This one says cocoa, soup, and I think the other one says soup too. And these are Anchor Hawking. I don't think these are quite as old. I think they might be more from the 80s. I'm not 100% positive, but I think they're from the 80s. I found this hand-painted picture. It's really pretty. It has like little initials on the bottom. And I paid a dollar for it. Little flowers on the back. I found a little girl and I paid 79 cents for her. I first thought she was like um, Goldilocks or Little Miss Muffet. She just kind of remind me of a nursery rhyme, but I really have no idea who she's made by. It just has a number on the bottom. So I guess I'll have to do some more research on that, but I thought she looked really cute in the kitchen. I got these two paintings and I just kind of took a gamble on them. Uh, they look like an oil painting. I paid $1.79 for them. And they're on a wood, like wood plank. And somebody has tried to sell them at one point. It says $2. And it says circa 1945. So that's the back of that one. And it's just like a mountain scene. And then this one is like a, a lake with the mountains in the back. And it has a couple of people on it. And again, I paid $1.79, and it also says circa 1945. I wasn't sure if these went, went together like that. I don't know. But I thought they were kind of cool, so I guess I'll have to, you know, maybe look those up. I, there's no marking or by an artist or anything, so I'll just have to look at that up. I bought a stack of sheet music. I love all sheet music, um, and especially, like, musicals and things like that. So these have a um, whole stack I only paid two bucks for, but um, has some neat, there's that movie, they actually redid that movie, 
I can't remember when, but uh, we did that movie Shaft. But I thought this was neat. I never heard of the sheet music um, magazine. I'll have to ask my mom about that because she's a piano teacher. But um, each one of those magazines has lots of music in it. So um, for a couple of dollars, that was a, a good deal. And I'll go through those and maybe pick out what I want to play. I bought this book here for about 50 cents. I thought it was really neat. It says, uh, Best Short Stories, Hawthorne. And it says, The Nutshell Library. But what I thought was really neat about this is it says copyright 1907. So I thought that was really cool. I'm gonna have to look through the whole thing. It almost has like a, a velvet feel to the outside of the, the cover. But I thought it was really neat. I picked up some uh, rice paper uh, towels, they're like guest towels and they're still in the package. Um, I paid 75 cents for this, um, or 79 cents, and it was actually half off that day, so I only ended up paying like 40 cents for it. I thought those were really cute. I love the butterflies on there. I picked up a couple books. Um, this one is um, a book about the royals and all the collectible memorabilia in it. I thought the pictures were cool, and I like, you know, to read about... Uh, Different antiques, that's why I like collecting these books, and I, I like to read about the royals. Also, the royal family, so I thought this would be neat. Some cool pictures to it, so I'm excited to dive in. I pay 79 cents for that. I also pay 79 cents for um, Cavell's Antiques and Collectible Price Guide 2010. I borrowed this book from the library, so it's kind of it's kind of nice for me to have it here, and then I can go through it. But what's really cool is uh, Terry Co Covell, she actually um, autographed it. It says to Mark, may all your Christmas gifts be great antiques. I hear your collection is awesome. So maybe somebody wrote to her and, um, you know, told her about his collection and, and then gave this to him as a Christmas gift. But I thought that was really cool. For 79 cents, that's a huge book. I bought this. I thought it was really cool, um, too. It's 50 cents. It's called Dancing in Action, and it's a ballet book. And then inside here, pull this out, pull it out, and it's 3D glasses. And then there's pictures like that, and you can hold it, and you can see um, the movements, and um, like those through the glasses and stuff, you can see them they come, become like 3D. I thought those were really neat. This one is, um, I'm trying to think when the copyright, I think it was the 50s. Yep, 1953, 54. I thought that was neat. I picked up several boxes of Christmas lights. I've been wanting bubble lights forever. And so I just picked up all that they had. These are mini ones. It still has like the Hills Department Store sticker on it. I paid $1.99 for the small ones. And these were had been used as ones and I plugged them in, they work great. These four boxes are all brand new, like nobody opened them. It's got some wear on the boxes, but I did pay $3.99 for each box set. But um I have yet to test these. I just haven't had the time. So I hope that they are, they all work. But um $3.99 was still a pretty good deal per box. So um, I'll have plenty. If it's too many, I might just um, resell a box or two. So, And then lastly, I did pick up some more linens. I love the linens. And uh, this one I was hoping to resell. I thought maybe it would sell for a little bit more because it was in the package. Um, I paid $1.29 for it. It's a bridge table cover. And it's all printed in the back. But um, when I looked it up, it didn't look like it was going for a whole lot. So we'll see. I'm, I should be able to at least make my money back on that one. I picked up another tea towel. And I paid 59 cents for this tea towel. And this one is um, it's a dressing for your salads. And so it has like a little recipe on it. And then this one is just a table runner, an embroidered table runner. And I paid 79 cents for it. It's a little bit bigger than the tea towel. And this is another tea towel. Again, I paid uh, 59 cents for it. These were all actually at the same Goodwill. All the linens right here. And this is um, wine. And it, this one did have a, a maker on it. So I think it said manufactured by KD. 
And this is an old picnic table um, tablecloth, and um, I paid $2 for it. Pretty good. It has um, just a couple of minor stains, nothing big, but um, this is a nice big square one. So I might try to look for the matching napkins for those. I think those would be really cute this summer. Um, there's a lighthouse nearby, and I'd love to um, take a picnic lunch there, so I think this tablecloth would be perfect for that. I got a granny square um, afghan. I didn't pull it apart, like it was just hanging on the rack, and I paid $2.79 for it. I'm like, oh wow, that's a great deal. But it, when I got home, getting ready to wash it, it definitely has condition issues. It's got some big holes on the inside. Um, and then it's got um, some pilling, I guess they, it's hard to see, but um, so it really is in rough shape. It cleaned up nicely, um, but yeah, it, it definitely has big holes and things. I'm not sure if I can fix them or not, uh, or I just have to keep it as is. Picked up a Cleveland Indians uh, vintage uh, pillowcase. Um, it is from, See, 1996. I'm not really a Cleveland Indians fan, but I am a baseball fan, so I just picked that one up. I thought it was kind of neat because it was an older one. Now, my husband and my kids were going crazy for this. It's Voltron. It is a vintage pillowcase and um, the flat sheet. It says Defender of the Universe, and it does have a date on it. Uh, let's see if I can find the date. It may just be on the case. I think it's in 1986, maybe. I'm trying to see where it's at. But it does have a date on it. I just, I don't know, I can't find it right now. But I'm pretty sure it's in 1986. And then here's the big flat sheet that goes with it. So they were all excited about that. And um, my son actually, oh, there it is. Oh, I'm sorry, 1984. So it's just a little bit older. Um, and I paid $1.29 for the sheet and $0.79 cents for the pillowcases. And then lastly, I got a big tablecloth. This one is, I paid $4 for it. No stains, no um, snags or anything. It's an old JCPenney's uh, tablecloth, just a plain white tablecloth. And I thought it would be nice because some of my tablecloths are a little shorter and smaller, so I can put this down first and then use the other ones more or less like a topper. So um, that worked out really nice for me. So anyway, that is my haul. Thank you for sticking with it. I know I had quite a few different things. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment. Um, I love talking with people about different pieces. And subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.